When it comes to catching catfish, it's tough to beat standard operating procedure. Namely, rigging a piece of fresh cut bait on a hook, line, and sinker. Letting it sit somewhere, cats can smell fresh fish on the menu, move in to investigate, tentatively whisker things over, and then wrap their lips around the sushi of the day. But cats don't always feed on bottom. In fact, when cats are aggressively feeding, they routinely rise up to pursue bait fish. It's the perfect time and conditions to take that seductive strip of sushi for a summertime spin. Little guy feels like, yeah, just a little guy. Ah, well, that's a good sign. I like that. Oops. Okay, wait. How do you like that? Come here. There. there that isn't bad. Sort of wrangled up here. The first cat of the day, but you'll notice a little interesting item that we're using here. We're actually using a spinner rig. And we're, what we're going to do is look at uh, early season strategies for cats in uh, big waters around the country. I've never personally fished with spinners for catfish. I've used them for sturgeon. But a buddy of mine uh, from the St. Cloud area actually told me about this technique. And what he does is he fishes a spinner rig and cut bait in uh, real fast current, fast deep water for cats. And by my estimation, for the first five minutes, yeah, I'm, right. I'm sort of liking it. We'll give it another whirl here. We'll get another piece of cut bait on. This is a number three Hydroflow, VMC Hydroflow spinner. You can see it just got the red beads. This is actually a minnow rig. But what we're doing is just putting on a thin strip of fresh cut sucker and we're putting it through the corner, just the tip of it. So it's real fluid in the water. This is actually just flapping in back of the spinner down there. And boy, does it, when they fish hit it, boy, it doesn't take long. But you'll see something here. You'll see the whole rig out there like that. There's the rig that's on the bottom. The spinner is just spinning real uh, close to the bottom or a little bit off the bottom. Sometimes in your real deep water, you could actually lift it up off the bottom. But one thing you'll notice, what depth of water we're in. Boom, I'm on the bottom right there. We're in about 10, 12 foot of water. There you got him, get him. You got one, stay on him. He's just baiting up. And what size is that little rascal? Pretty big one, I think. You know what it, I think it is? There's a flat this way, and then there's deeper water on this side. So what you're doing, you're oh, sitting on that deeper bigger. current seam that those fish are following up. Ooh, that's a good one. Pretty fish. The nice thing is about this technique like this is you're not getting hung up in the bottom, you know, and losing baits and rigs and sinkers. You know, there you're fishing directly below the boat and letting the spinner do all the work for you. Boy, that's a pretty one, Nick. Ooh. Man, isn't that unbelievable how aggressive they are? Hey, for more detailed information or to purchase any products you've seen on this show, go to lindermedia.com. And thanks for watching.